Welcome back, my friends. I haven't done a video on GDB for a while, so I want to do one today. When students discover debuggers, they usually go through a two-step process. At first, you start out, you're really excited because, hey, I can actually step through my code and I can, I can figure out my problem, I can see things. Second, they get frustrated. They set their breakpoints, they start their program running, and they and it starts stopping at each breakpoint. They're hitting continue, continue, C, C, and they realize that to actually find their bug, they may have to hit C a thousand times, 10,000 times, and they get really frustrated. There's no, I, I'm not gonna do it. This, is, this isn't gonna happen. So today I wanna make this problem go away using conditional breakpoints in GDB. So a conditional breakpoint in GDB is just a breakpoint. It's like any other breakpoint, but it has an if condition attached. And the whole idea is it's only going to stop at that breakpoint if that condition is satisfied. So let's look at an example. This program I'm showing you right here has a memory corruption bug, and the bug is only going to happen if this variable x gets really big. If I just continue and let the breakpoint stop me each time, I know what line it's crashing on because let's, I ran it and it tells me that it seg faults at a particular line. I have an idea of what's going on, but if I just hit continue and let the breakpoint stop each and every time, I'm gonna be here forever. This could take hundreds and thousands of keystrokes before I'm gonna find the actual bug I'm looking for. But instead, I can just tell GDB to break on this line anytime the value of X gets larger than 255. And now it will only stop if it happens to get bigger. Now, a lot of you, you might be looking at this and you might be thinking, I could also change my code to make it work with a conventional breakpoint by changing the structure, actually adding my own if condition in here. If you're considering this, just stop, don't do it. The whole point of a debugger is that it allows you to actually step through your code as it's written. The minute you start changing your code to make debugging easier, you're just, it's risky. You're taking the chance that your changes are actually going to insert other bugs and other changes that you didn't intend. And that's not at all what you wanna do. You actually wanna preserve the code as it originally was written and just step through and understand it. So use the conditional breakpoint. Don't change the structure of the program itself to make debugging easier. I know it's tempting, but it's just not worth it. So that's it folks today, short and sweet. Just wanted to add some delicious conditional breakpoints to your debugging buffet. And I hope this helps you be more productive on your next debugging session. And until next time, happy coding and I'll see you later.